Hey, my name is Professor Shumunaja Berry from Berry Talent Lab. Today, we will be looking at C++ number 7. Now, what would C++ number 7 be? Well, that would be constructors. Now, let me go get my construction tools real quick. All right, so I couldn't find any construction tools, nor could I find any construction workers late at night here in Lindbrook, because basically everybody sleeps after 10 o'clock in this neighborhood. Not like the Bronx. This neighborhood always sleeps. And that doesn't never sleep. Hypocritical, am I right? Anyways, C number seven will be about that. But when we brought the word, oh, okay, okay, stop barking. I'm not doing calculus, I'm doing computer science. Okay, okay, it's not something you would understand. This was created in 2005, long after you died, so I'll go back into the grave. The thing is, first of all, they do not need any return type. They don't need void, they don't need well, anything. They don't need void, they don't need class, they don't need constructor, they don't need any crap. Instead, all they, all they need is well, one name. And plus, first of all, a constructor must be in a class. So, if you have a class that I will call C++, minus minus because putting the a minus sign c plus plus actually thinks you want to do something so c minus minus that's going to be our class fun fact c minus minus is an actual small programming language used for cpus of computers but anyways c minus minus we will put we will put a public stuff things to do in public, like not peeing and not doing the, the bad stuff. And then you have things to do in private, like put on t-shirts and stop uh, wearing all these suits and bow ties all the time. You know, I don't always wear these, get super sweaty in here when I do. So anyway, we have the public and we have the private. So in public, we are going to put our constructor. Why? Well, because it's literally a rule. Your computer will freaking <coughs> choke and die if you're, you don't put a constructor in it. <laughs> I mean, a public inside the construct, a constructor inside the public section of a class. God damn it. All right, so, mm. so if we have our constructor, the constructor must be the same name as what we already have, the, uh, the same name as the class, must. That's how you know that it's a constructor. Mm. I, oh, God damn it! why did I forget to put the parameters? Just uh, put those in a little carrot. So, anyways, mm. see, minus minus is going to be our constructor. But what are we going to do inside that constructor? Well, we will print something useless. You with me? All right. So what we're going to do is we're printing something very useless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put count. Bozo is a bozo. When I call them in the afternoon to actually do something about Linus and Bernoulli Sabretto of rioting, they did nothing. So yeah, Bozo, he's a Bozo. So anyway, maybe that was because I was calling on a phone created from my own hands and flesh and not an actual electronic device, but hey. So count, and then you have an L. That's not a call, okay, okay. So, mm, this is what we're going to print, and we're just going to put that back. Where did that come from? And then, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new function falling into the void. So, this is not our constructor. This is just a function. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set a quote, mm, and our quote will be, bozo is a bozo. And anyways, when we set our quote, what we're going to do is we're going to put a string. 
and Bojo, Quojo. Quojo is quote plus Bojo. So that means that we get a Quojo. So string Quojo, I probably should have put the semicolon in there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add something to this. So what are we going to add? Well, we are going to say that um, we're going to set Quojo to X. Now listen, you may be thinking, Professor Saborno, you didn't define X. Well, I'll define it later, okay? Because I'm lazy. Got it? I think you got it. So, now, let's just put the private down once more. Uh, sus, we do nothing in private. And then, to be equal to, well, we are going to set, um, sorry, we're going to return Quojo, which remember is the quote for the Bojo. So, Quojo. No, actually, Sin and I were returning X. <laughs> so, anyway, now what we're going to do in private is we're going to define X. So, in private, we are going to make something called, finally, well, actually, we're just going to define X. So, now everything is done. So now what happens if we put all of that beefy crap into the int main? And then you may be thinking, hmm, what's the difference? What's happening over here? Well, to your surprise, we only need the function. Where's the function name? Sorry. We only need the function C minus minus and then we need an object. So how about Jobo? See, I switched the Joris and the Bonson. So that now we don't have Boris Johnson anymore, the Prime Minister of the UK. We have a Joris Bonson. Is that a good new Prime Minister? Hopefully he doesn't have scraggly hair anymore. So anyway, C minus minus Jobo. And now to your surprise, the quote, Bojo is a Bozo, will print instantly. Now you might be thinking, what did they use for all of this? Why can't we just print out count Bozo is a Bozo? Well, the thing is, you are stupid if you uh, try and write something in a constructor. You are absolutely stupid, just like me. Sorry. Instead, most people use it for just, well, setting an initial value for some weird variable or something. So, they don't need just one variable, but they actually need multiple variables. So they have multiple variables jumping around in that mess, and that's what you need a constructor for. You can't just have x, y, z, w defined all of at once. You need a constructor for all of that mess. We're going to get away from it. So, that is basically what a constructor is used for, but since we're not, um, since I'm dumb, I'm going to still be writing stuff in constructors until I die. And that is included in the Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. <laughs>